Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video, we're gonna break down exactly what you should be bringing to Walt Disney World. And this is such an important topic because we all know that the Florida weather can be so unpredictable. You have those hot Florida summer days, you have hurricane season, you have those unpredictable winter months. It's never an easy thing when planning a Disney World vacation, but that's exactly why we decided to put together this video to get you as prepared as possible. So if you are in the process of planning a Disney trip, just be sure to stick around until the end of this video. As always, I'm very excited, so let's go get started. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. Like I said, we are about to break down what you should be bringing to Walt Disney World for your next family vacation. And this is gonna include stuff as, you know, what you should be bringing to the theme parks, if you're bringing a backpack, what you should consider possibly putting in that backpack. And you'll see a lot of the items that we're going to uh, kind of recommend you bring along are really gonna be able to save you some money as you'll, you know, be able to avoid having to buy these items in the park. But we do things a little differently here at the Park Prodigy, very similar to our what to bring to Universal Orlando. We are going to start with what you cannot bring into Walt Disney World. So Disney World does have a list of prohibitive items that you cannot bring when you are visiting. And the following items are not allowed to be brought into Walt Disney World. That of course includes weapons, alcoholic beverages, illegal substances, fireworks, wagons, Bags, coolers, suitcases, backpacks that are larger than 24 inches long by 15 inches wide and 18 inches high, folding chairs, glass containers, megaphones or horns, and of course, selfie sticks. The selfie sticks is actually an accurate one because I just got in trouble over at Disneyland. It was more so, I don't, I don't consider it a selfie stick. It was more so um, just like a little holder for my phone. Um, to record videos, but they took it away. So this is a very accurate list. Okay, so now what can you bring to Walt Disney World? And we're gonna start with really, let's say the tips and tricks just of what you should be prepared for as you're planning your Disney World vacation. And first and foremost, like we said, be prepared for the weather. So many Disney guests underestimate just how much it rains in Florida and how quickly it can get really, really wet. So most days in the summer will feel like it's over 100 degrees outside and you'll see it could start to rain just like that. But the good news is that typically when it does rain in Florida, it will rain for 20, 30 minutes and then you know it's pretty much over at that point. We would say also be prepared to wait in lines and be prepared to kind of have to keep everyone in your family busy. Lines are inevitable at Disney World. Even if you're planning on using the Disney Genie Plus, you will be waiting in lines at some point in time. So be prepared for that and plan around that. Another important tip and trick really tying into the weather is make sure that you are staying hydrated. A reusable water bottles are a great way to do this for a great, yo, ch cheaply. I don't even know if cheaply is a word, but... <laughs> Reusable water bottles can be used cheaply. Um, <laughs> my English teacher is going to kill me. But again, not only this will help you save money while in the theme parks, we're also saving the environment. And of course, it just makes it that much easier to go and refill throughout the refill stations that are going to be found within the Disney World parks. Another really important thing to keep in mind is if you are a souvenir person, if you love, you know, those Disney World t-shirts, just those, um, you know, backpacks, anything that you think you might want to bring back home with you, be prepared for that and leave some space in your suitcase or bring another bag for all of your souvenirs. Now, jumping into the list, what is the Disney World Park essential packing list? And this is specifically for the theme parks. We would say make sure that you're bringing your travel documents, your tickets, your wallet, right? Essentially, anything you would need to get into the theme parks from a you know document standpoint, make sure that you have that on you. Now, of course, in the day and age we live in, for the most part, that's going to be make sure you're bringing your cell phone because you know all the tickets that we sell at the Park Prodigy, they are linked to the My Disney Experience app. And then, of course, you can turn that into a mobile magic ticket and you'll just essentially have your discounted ticket right on your cell phone. So make sure that you do have your cell phone. Moving over to the next one. Make sure that you're wearing comfortable shoes. Just like it sounds, there is a lot of walking going on in Walt Disney World. Many guests will walk up to 10 miles a day, possibly more, right? So you wanna be prepared for that. You wanna make sure that you have comfortable shoes. And of course, I know another big thing, I personally do not have a pair just yet, but another thing that a lot of guests will wear are Crocs, especially for those rainy days, right? You know, you can kind of flip them in to rain mode and you go about your day. Another important thing to possibly bring, and we'll go through a full list of what to be, you know, what to have in your backpack, but we 
would say bring a backpack just so you can have, you know, essentially everything else that we're about to include on this list, which would be that reusable water bottle like we discussed to make sure that you are staying hydrated. Make sure that you do bring sunscreen. Make sure that you're bringing plastic bags, especially if you plan to go on, you know, some of the water rides. Really, the main water ride is going to be over at Animal Kingdom. But if you are going over to Universal Orlando, this is another great important tip and trick. Make sure you have plastic bags. And again, you could put your cell phone in them, whatever items you do not want to get wet or even in the rain, you put your cell phone um, in the plastic bags to make sure that you do not get wet. Bring sunglasses, make sure you bring cooling devices. So that would be cooling towels, cooling fans, essentially anything you would think that would help you kind of stay cool um, on those hot Florida days. Make sure that you do have that in advance. You could save some money and not have to buy them in the parks. And another important one is going to be you're going to be on your cell phone a lot, especially if you're using Disney Genie Plus. You're going to be pretty much in the My Disney Experience app all day. Same thing with just waiting on lines. You know, you're going to whip out your cell phone. You could pretty much try to you know, keep yourself occupied throughout the day. Bring a portable phone charger from home. If not, Disney does have, a, uh, in my opinion, they have a really um, affordable and cool uh, portable charger that you can kind of swap out throughout the parks. But again, just keep that in mind. You will need to kind of recharge your batteries throughout the day, especially if you're going to be using your phone. All right, so now jumping over specifically for your backpack, right? What are some of the essential items that you should be bringing in your backpack? And this is going to be hand sanitizer, a parade or fireworks blanket so you can sit on at night um, you know, while you're watching the parade and fireworks, a refillable water bottle like we discussed, rain jacket slash poncho. Ponchos are a really, really big one. Go to the dollar store, get yourself a bunch of ponchos because in the parks, they're going to cost you like, I mean, last time I checked, I believe they're either 12 or maybe even up to like $15 at this point in time. So, you know, for a family of four, you could spend $4 back at home compared to $48 in the parks. It's a no brainer. Another important one is extra socks. Again, it's gonna rain. <laughs> at some point throughout your trip, it is going to rain. So having those extra socks so your feet do not stay, you know, wet and soggy, are very, very important. Medications, again, this is very, very important. Make sure you're bringing your medications from home if you are on medication. But just in general, you know, you might wanna have some Dramamine if you get motion sickness on rides, uh, Advil, pain relievers, right? Anything you think you might possibly need, bring them from home, save yourself a couple bucks. We've spoken about phone chargers and portable batteries, Ziploc bags, Band-Aids, sunscreen, cooling devices, sunglasses, tissues or napkins, snacks. This is another really, really um, important one. You can bring, you know, essentially you can bring anything that does not have to be refrigerated. So just when I, you know, we start talking about what type of foods can you bring in, it's mostly a common sense stuff. You know, if you could, you could bring in, you know, um, chips, uh, pretzels, crackers, uh, cookies, like stuff like that, non-refrigerated snacks is essentially what you'll have no problem bringing in. And again, the other important thing is make sure that if you are bringing in a cooler, it is within those restrictions that we spoke about earlier in the video. Some other really um, important ones very quickly are earplugs, especially for those uh, parades and the fireworks. There are going to be a lot of loud noises. And then last but not least, we do have lip balm. All right, so moving over to the hotels, and we would say things you need to bring to your Disney World hotel or really any hotel you're staying at in Orlando. And we would say aloe and gel, hair care products, swimsuits if you do plan to take advantage of the pools back at your hotel, deodorant. You can bring a book or two for your plane ride, electronic devices, of course, cell phones, <laughs> probably the go-to at this point in, in time, um, batteries, uh, tissues. Another important one is there's so much walking and a lot of um, a lot of guests might not be used to doing this much walking, but we would say even like, you know, they have those, the chafing, um, like kind of like the deodorant sticks, but the chafing sticks, bring one of those just in case. Hair care products, toothpaste and toothbrush, towels and blankets, lotion, uh, nail clippers, hats, and then again, earplugs. And another really, really important one is bring your Disney merchandise, bring your Disney shirts, bring your Disney ears, bring your Disney pins, your lanyards, right? All that great stuff. And again, taking it one step further, what we would say is be aware of when you are visiting the parks, right? And from a packing standpoint, you know, again, in the summertime, it's gonna be a lot of really, really hot days. And well, I would say a majority of the year it's going to be hot days. Essentially from March through the end of October, you're going to be dealing with the heat in Florida. From November through February, where it gets complicated is you possibly could be dealing with the heat or you possibly could be dealing with the cold. You don't really know what you're going to get in Florida. I would say November, December, January, February. You don't know. I've worked in Disney. I've lived in Florida. And that's, you know, 
when it's 45 degrees in Florida, it is it feels a lot colder than that, right? So you'll you're gonna need a jacket, and you might even even if it's a you know a little bit warmer on those November and December days, you might need a sweatshirt at night, right? So be prepared for that. Think about that as you're packing your clothes. What we would say is if you're coming in the summer, you want kind of extra extra clothes. So like extra t-shirts, extra shorts, just because you're going to be sweating a lot or it could possibly rain. So give yourself a little a couple extra items um, so you don't have to go and let's say buy shirts from Disney, which is going to be expensive. On the flip side, if you're coming in the winter, give yourself some layers. So, you know, sweatshirts, maybe a light jacket, you know, different stuff like that so that you can kind of be prepared and layer up in case it does get too cold. And then, of course, last but not least, I know I, t I quickly touched base on snacks, but I feel like I should be ending the video with snacks because food is just such a very, very important topic to me. And we would say some of the very, very popular snacks are going to be granola and protein bars, fruit snacks, crackers, pretzels and chips, pre-cut and washed fruit, nuts or trail mix. And then, of course, you can bring in sandwiches and chips. Um, but again, make sure that you do not have to refrigerate the sandwiches or anything like that. Oh, last but not least, another, and I know this is very important for a lot of families, of course, baby formula. You can bring in baby formula, but the most important thing to keep in mind is make sure that you do have you know, a cooler that is allowed into the parks um, because you will not be able to you know, keep that formula refrigerated in, in the parks. Obviously, you'll need to keep that in the cooler. But that is the list, everyone. Those are the most important things to consider bringing on your next Walt Disney World trip. I really, really hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you learned a thing or two. And if you are in the process of planning a Disney World vacation and you do need a little additional help, just be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com, or subscribe to our channel as we have a lot more similar videos just like this coming out in the coming weeks. But I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. And until next time, I will talk to you soon.